place value of three digit numbers. Starry, see what I have here. Remember these number cards? Come on, let's learn something new with these cards today. First, let's place these cards upside down so that we are not able to read the numbers on them. Now, here is a table. Three columns have been drawn. Here, H stands for hundreds, T for tens and U for units. Ok? Now, let's start. Let's pick up any three cards and place them one by one in each column. We place the number 5 in the hundreds column, the number 3 in the tens column and the number 7 in the units column. Can you read this number story? Yes! This number is 537. In what place is the number 5? Yes, 5 is the hundreds place digit. So, its place value is 5 hundreds or 500. Can you now tell me the place value of 3? That's right. 3 is the tens place digit. So, its place value is 3 tens or 30. And finally, 7 is the units or ones place digit. So, its place value is 7 ones or 7. Wasn't that interesting? Ok, then let us learn the place values of some more three digit numbers. Let us choose three more cards. Which digits do we get? Hmm, 8 is in the hundreds place, 6 is in the tens place and 4 is in the units place. Now let us find out their place values. What will be the place value of 8 starry? 8 is the hundreds place digit. So its place value is 800. Place value of 6 is 60. As it is the tens place digit and place value of 4 is 4. Now it's time for the next three digit number. Here we have the hundreds place has digit 9. The tens place has digit 6. And the units place has digit 2. Now tell the place values of the digits, Starry. Hey, Starry, wait! We have not placed the card in the tens place correctly. The digit in the tens place is 9 and not 6. Here, now tell the place values. The place value of digit 9 in hundreds place is 900. Will the place value of digit 9 in tens place be same? No. Here the place value of 9 
is 90. The place value of digit 2 is 2. So remember Starry, the place value of a digit changes depending upon its place in the given number. Are you ready to solve some examples now, Starry? Okay, then let's start. A group of numbers is given here. We have to observe the numbers and answer the questions. Let us read the first question. We have to write the place value of the digit 4 in the number 421. In which place is the digit 4? Yes, digit 4 is in the hundreds place. So, its place value is 400. Starry, can you find any two numbers in which the place value of 8 is 80? Yes! In the number 983 and 882, the place value of 8 is 80. In the next question, we have to find the place value of 1 in the number 731. Digit 1 is in units place, so its place value is 1. Hey Starry, this question is interesting. We have to find the number in which the digits in the units place and tens place have place value 0. Can you answer this? Yes, the correct answer is 300. Let us solve the next example. Tick the correct answer out of the given choices. Let's read the first statement. The place value of the digit 6 in the number 365 is 60 or 600. The correct answer is 60. The place value of 9 in the number 912 is 90 or 900. Yes, the correct answer is 900. In a number... The place value of the digit 8 is 800. The place value of the digit 7 is 70. And of 4 is 4. So the number formed is 784 or 874. Yes, the answer is... 874. So, Starry, before finding the place value of digits in a number, it is important to identify its place in the number. <music>